Malu tweets, biggest red flag is when you rinse a pig for a day. Can't relate. These red flags have been going around the internet like crazy. And if you don't know what a red flag is, it's basically a sign of what's to come. Usually something bad. Like for example, your girlfriend or boyfriend says we need to talk, which is most certainly a red flag. Let me tell you all that. But today I'm going to be damning a hundred TikTokers asking them what their biggest red flags are. And also I posted on my story, what are my red flags? I just know today this video is gonna make my confidence plummet. And you're asking JR, why are you doing this video today? Well, based on my past relationships, I couldn't see any red flags, so I'm getting help from from the experts. First red flag, we're asking Charlie D'Amelio. So we're hitting Charlie with, yo Charlie, what's your number one red flag to stay away from? Number one right there, scent. Oh my God. I just sent this text to Dixie. Dude, I feel so bad. I feel like I need to go get the D'Amelio drink right now. Can I get the Charlie D'Amelio? Um, medium? Anyway, so on to our second red flag. Okay, this is pretty solid. I'm sending Addison. Hey Addison, I heard you're good at stuff. You, just a conversation start. I don't know how to start this. Wanted to know what red flags do you stay away from? It, this guy right here. So we're gonna send that text right now. Hopefully we get a response. I heard she's also single, so if she responds, I'm gonna dice roll my way in there. We're gonna DM her ex, Bryce Hall. Let's see this. Jesus. All right, so I'm sending this to Bryce. Since I've heard you're one of the best boxers in the game, obviously, you know, undefeated right there. Just wanted to know what red flags you stay away from. Hopefully, I can get into Sway if that's still a thing. We're, we're gonna ask him if you respond. Now, actually, let's go back to Charlie. This is what I'm sending to Charlie. Hey, Charles. Oh, God, I already messed up spelling bee. Whatever, we're, we're gonna keep it in. Hey, Charles, would love if you could teach me the renegade dance, but I wanted to know what red flags you stay away from. Hopefully, she could teach me, but I did kind of get her name wrong. I feel like it, if it's spelled wrong, she's gonna look at it. All right, next we're asking Larry. He's gonna text Larry the red flag emoji. I said, what's yours? Red flag. Hopefully he sees it. This is me whenever I put two question marks in the chat, I swear. Maybe I still got a chance, but we're gonna ask Malu. I don't know if she counts as a TikToker. Hey Malu, Trevino, or uh, Trevijo, I, I don't know how to see it. Was just curious what your red flags are. Oh my God. You know, actually me and Malu used to actually be a thing back in the day. Look, I'm telling you, we go back way back. I'm, I'm lying, that's not, that's not really us. That's, just, I photoshopped that picture. Oh. Boy, Josh Richards. We're gonna ask him. Funny thing is, me and Josh actually do know each other. This one. We were on the tour of the Boys of Summer tour together, actually. It's been like two years, I think. So look, I just sent Josh. Uh, hey, Mr. Richards, a little curious. What red flags do you stay away from? Dude, I feel like he's gonna be like, what the hell is he saying? Let me let me see this boomerang. Dude, look how I look. Is that a hickey? Okay, yeah, never mind. We're, we're gonna get off this. Yeah, no more. Who, who do we got next? Oh my God, we got Noah Beck. Yo, this time I'm asking Noah if I could be a part of Sway. Texted Noah, I said, hey, Noah Peck. You get it? Cause like, he's like all buff and, and he just pecks him. Dude, I'm terrible. I, I'm not even funny, I swear. I said, hey Noah Peg, just asking for a friend. Is it possible to get into Sway? And also, what red flags do you stay away from? So yeah, I'm honestly just asking for my friend if it's still possible to get into the Sway house. Next, we're gonna ask Bella. Holy moly, Bella Porsche has 14 million? I didn't even know that. I'm saying, hey Bella P, you know there's a lot of red flags going around and I just wanted to know which ones are you avoiding, question mark. We need to get this advice. You need this advice, I need this advice. Be, maybe not you, but me, definitely. I'm gonna read my first red flag y'all said to me. Somebody said a red flag is my piercings. Since when did getting a piercing become a red flag? All right, the boy, we're gonna text Vinny Hacker. Yo, yeah, here's a picture of us as kids. <laughs> That's not us, yeah. This is what I'm saying to Vinny right now. Vinny Hacker, I need you to hack away at these red flags and tell me which ones you be avoiding. All right, next one, we're going to Nessa. I did not even know I had open DMs with Nessa. I forgot about this. Back in 2019, I said, hey, she said, hi. I actually think we could get her to respond only just because we have open DMs. Hey, Nessa, got a question for you. What are some red flags you avoid? Oh my God. Bro. Honestly, the funny thing is she said hi to me and I didn't even respond back on that day. I feel like half of these people are just gonna leave me on red. I'm gonna spend good amount of time messaging more people what their red flags are. That's not even like half of the people I need to DM. And I'll be back. Okay, so it's been like a, a good 24 hours. Quite a lot of delivers, but we did get some good responses. Let me tell you all that. I got left on scene like twice. Let me tell you the people who left me on scene. Larry left me on scene. Classic. And Giro, I don't know how you say the name, but left me on scene. Wow, what if? Tragic moment for me. We did get a lot of good responses. So, Emily Hernandez, yo, I, I asked her, Emily, what's a big red flag for you? She says, when they talk shit about their own friends. That's a good red flag, I like that one. We got Alvaro, if she got over 2K on Instagram. Another red flag right there. So I guess if she got over 2K, you gotta stay away. I don't know if the same goes for boys. Oh, y'all forgot, we also got Malu. Oh, look what Malu said. She said, they have curly hair? 
Charlize True. Too many girl best friends when they're mean to their mom, when they don't text back for hours, when they're late. Good red flags. We got a lot of good, maybe there's not a good red flag, but we, we got a lot of red flags going up in the air out here. We got one from Mariano Castellano. He said, when they know every New York drill track. What? That's, that's, that's the, what does that mean? That one's an interesting red flag. Oh, we got one from Jude Flores right here. Her name starts with H. It's crazy. I think his ex name starts with like H. I don't know. Stay away from them H's. We got Zephin Clark. Zephin says keeping secrets. That, that's definitely a red flag. I can agree with that one. Big red flag. MA went back. Oh, and then we got Pretty Little Hazel. She says, saying that you don't have any red flags, but the only person that doesn't have a red flag is me. Y'all stay safe though. I'm playing. <laughs> Andre Swilly said, who don't like ranch. So if they don't like ranch, that's a red flag. Honestly, yo, that's a, that's pretty valid. You know, ranch with pizza, that's a solid combo. If you don't like ranch, that's a red flag for you. Now we know who to stay away. Oh, Julian said, boy best friends. I can agree with that. I'm gonna hit you with, that's my brother. We got one from Maddie Monroe. Let's see what she says. She said, if they have a Dirty room. I guess I'm this one right here. I got a dirty room right now. She calling me out. I feel, feel ashamed. All right, let's see what Luca Schaeferton said. He said, honestly, bro, probably when they act different in front of others than when you guys are alone. Mad annoying. Oh, that's definitely mad annoying when they're acting different in front of their friends. Like, who, who is this new person coming out? Gotta keep the same energy. We got Sophia. She says, if he plays Rocket League. When I was little, I used to play Rocket League, but haven't played that game in years. So thankfully, I don't fall in this category of red flags. So that, that's her advice. That's very specific. That's an interesting one. <laughs> If he plays Rocket League, we got don't like ranch and plays Rocket League. Real quick, let me just tell you one of my red flags. Not hitting the subscribe button. That's a huge red flag. Let's see what Aya said. When they cheat on their past relationships, that is a big red flag. Once a cheater, always a cheater. That's what they say. <laughs> I, don't, I don't even know if they say that, but still. I have to see what y'all said about my red flags. Somebody said suck at texting. Um, I'm not even gonna lie, I kinda do suck at texting. Somebody said you're an Aquarius. I, that's a green flag. We're like the best signs out there. It's Fred said when they have crazy exes. Yo, that is a huge one because you don't want to get dragged in the craziness. You don't want that juju around you. Let's see what Mr. Kevin Salazar said when she's trying to be a victim after she knows she's guilty. It's not a good one. That is a toxic personality trait. Oh, and then we got Hugo said if she's a party girl, bro, big red flag. Or if she's always trying to play the victim or even if she knows she's wrong. Oh my God, literally that's just what Kevin said. That's how you know that's a big red flag if two people just said it. Oh, we got Josie. When guys have a girl best friend. Guess, yo, if you get in a relationship, fellas, cut the girl best friend off. Mark said, if they're not Bianca, I think he misspelled JR. I don't know how that happened, but he needs to fix his autocorrect. So, if they're not JR, red flag right there. Thank you, Mark, for the wise words. We got one from Amador. If she still has feelings for her ex, like if she still has feelings for her ex, I would stay far away from that. Trust me, it's, it's not gonna end good. Well, I could definitely say I have a better understanding of red flags, and heck, I might even get a chance with Malu. <laughs> I come in girls.